In this lecture, we will discuss about the bones of the skull, and, we will get into details of the cranial bones, their anatomy, and the sutures between skull bones. What is a skull? The human skull is a bony structure, that supports and protects the brain, sensory organs, and other structures. What is the classification of skull bones? The human skull is composed of 22 bones. It is classified into two categories, cranial bones. These encase the brain. It has eight bones of skull, facial bones. These form the face and support sensory structures. It has the remaining 14 bones of skull. Now we will begin our main topic. The cranial bones. The cranial bones are interconnected, and form the cranial cavity that encases the brain. It consists of following bones, frontal bone, parietal bones, temporal bones, occipital bone, sphenoid bone, ethmoid bone. What are paired cranial bones? Among all the bones of cranium, only the parietal and temporal bones are in pairs. The remaining bones are unpaired single bones. Now we will have a detailed overview of cranial bones. Number 1. Frontal bone. It forms the interior portion of the skull. It has following features. It forms the forehead, roots of the orbits, and part of the cranial floor. It contains the supraorbital foramen for neurovascular structures. Number 2. Parietal bones. It forms the sides and roof of the cranial cavity. It has following features. It is joined by the sagittal suture in the midline. It articulates with other bones through sutures, coronal suture, lambdoid suture, and squamous suture. Number 3. Temporal bones. It forms the lateral sides of the skull, and the base of the cranium. It has following features. It has a zygomatic process that contributes to the zygomatic arch. It has a mastoid process that provides attachment for neck muscles. It has an external acoustic meatus that forms the passage for sound waves to the eardrum. It houses the middle ear and inner ear structures. Number 4. Occipital bone. It forms the posterior portion of the skull. It has following features. It contains the foramen magnum through which the spinal cord passes. It provides articulation with the first cervical vertebra, atlas, at the occipital condyles. Number 5. Sphenoid bone. It is located in the middle of the cranial base. It has following features. It is a butterfly-shaped bone, contributing to the cranial floor, orbits, and nasal cavity. It contains the cella tersica, housing the pituitary gland. It has several foramina for cranial nerves and blood vessels, for example, optic canal, superior orbital fissure. Number 6. Ethmoid bone. It is located in the anterior cranial base, between the eyes. It has following features. It forms part of the nasal septum, and medial walls of the orbits. It has crista galli, that is the attachment point for the dura mater. It has a cribriform plate, that is perforated for passage of olfactory nerves. Now we will discuss the sutures of the skull. Sutures are fibrous joints, that connect the bones of the skull. Cranial bones are joined by following four sutures. Number 1. Coronal suture. It is located between the frontal, and parietal bones. Number 2. Sagittal suture. It is located between the two parietal bones. Number 3. Lambdoid suture. It is located between the parietal bones, and the occipital bone. Number 4. Squamous suture. It is located between the parietal bones and temporal bones. 